Let's move to other stories. And a 35-year-old man has killed his pregnant wife and subsequently committed suicide at Ankwa Dobro in the in Sawam Indwajiri municipality of the eastern region. Kofi Avoka, the deceased, inflicted deep machete wounds on his 27-year-old wife, Irina Pia, killing her in the process. Correspondent Kofi Sian joins me with details. Kofi, how were they discovered? So, this is a family that has lived in the same house as I'm going to prove. And according to the police, the husband and the wife live in the same house. They have been in the same house. So, okay. they... um, please reposition yourself. Um, we are finding it very, very difficult to hear you, but we're bringing you the story out there of Kofi Avoka, a 35-year-old man who killed, uh, allegedly, his 27-year-old wife, Irene, and then committed suicide. Um, we're trying to find out from Kofi Sian, who has been following the story, what may have caused the incident, whether there were any witnesses and what the police are doing about it and whether or not this forms a pattern. And we have seen a number of crimes of passion being record, reported from other areas um, of the country. But um, we will definitely get those details from Kofi. Kofi, um, let's, let's hear you now. Um, what, what exactly happened? OK, so the police tells me that uh, there was a misunderstanding between the husband and the wife. Uh, they had a kid who lived in the Okay. Um, Kofi, I think it would be better if you took out your, your earphones. Um, that could help, the, that could help the, the conversation move forward. Whilst he does that, we would move to other stories. You're live on Joy News Desk. My name is Daniel Dazi. So far, we've been to Tishi, where my colleague Manuel Kranting is reporting from the ground. The nine persons have been arrested. We've also found that a collaboration between the Ghana Health Service and the Youth Employment Agency is looking to employ 3,000 young people as um, community health educators, um, going into communities to educate them on health um, issues such as COVID-19. We've been rejoined by Kofi Sia. Um, Kofi, if you can hear me, um, run us, give us the background to this issue. Right, apologies for our inability to bring you that interview with Kofi Sian. Now, embattled um, as a North Member of Parliament, James Jachit Kwesin says he's still the MP for the area. The MP was in Parliament to participate in the work of the House despite a court ruling that's declared his seat vacant. Mr. Kwesin participated in the meeting of Parliament's Privileges Committee to deliberate on contempt proceedings against Asin Central MP Kennedy Japong. He told Joy News he's still MP based on processes he has initiated to challenge the ruling. We'll hear from James Jacho Quayson later in the bulletin. You're live on Joy News Desk. Stay with us. 